I've thought a lot about how I would make away from her differently now that, you know, I've, I mean, I had had my grandmother, you know, slowly sort of fall apart in many ways before she died and seen her go through the process of being in a retirement home. But I hadn't yet seen my dad um, go through the four or five years of dementia and, um, and watch that unraveling before I made this film. And I've often thought, how would I do it differently going back now that I've been that close up? with this experience of watching someone go through that. And, and the conclusion I've kind of come to is that I'm, I'm glad I didn't know too much when I made the film, because I don't think the film is ultimately about the granular details of the agony of Alzheimer's. I think it's about that sense of loss from the loved one's point of view of slowly losing somebody in pieces and of this marriage that's kind of coming into sharper focus as everything else is falling away and the things that have been hidden and suppressed coming to the fore. And I think it required, I think it required not getting mired into the details of Alzheimer's in order to tell the story of this marriage and to also capture this man's slightly naive perspective on his own marriage and have that naivety kind of disintegrate throughout the film. And in a strange way, I think knowing too much about the disease might have kind of sunk it into a quicksand of, of realism that I don't think the film should have existed in. So I don't know. I probably would make it differently now. I'm not sure it would capture the thing that that film needed to capture, which required a kind of a certain amount of innocence, I think. The thing is, half the time I wander around looking for something which I know is very pertinent. I can't remember what it is. I'm glad that I was 27 and, and didn't grasp the full weight of the fact that I was directing my first film with Julie Christie and Gordon Pinsent and Olympia Dukakis. And I'm sort of glad I didn't get um, how out of my depth I was. <laughs> Um, those actors really treated me like a director, though. Like, that's what I look back, that's what I'm most astonished by is, would I, even at my age, let alone 20 or 30 years from now, would I greet a 27-year-old first-time filmmaker with complete confidence and trust and let them guide me? I think that would be really hard. I mean, I'd like to think I could do it, but the generosity they showed me and the trust they showed me made me think I could do it, which was sort of a crazy thing to think, to think and feel. But um, I learned a ton, I think, in that, in that process. I think that I learned a lot too in terms of like the feedback I would get from them of what was working and what wasn't working in terms of, of what I was doing, which was always gentle and kind. It was an amazing way of training and also amazing to have Julie be the first, you know, actor I worked with in that sense on a feature film because she was she's such a cinephile and she's so about the film and the filmmaking and so if she trusts the filmmaker she trusts you entirely and then it's really about how can I be of help in realizing your vision what can I do and so she really gave me this sense of total freedom to be able to direct her as much as possible, that she was grateful for any guidance to get that age, because it really gave me permission to enter into the process and into the arena that I think, you know, it would be hard, I think, to feel otherwise at that age.